every single Tekken game. It takes him a while to start it, but once he gets started, yeah, that that's that's when you know. That's when you know. Obviously, this game is still very young. Not even a year old. Yeah. <laughs> Not even a year old, but we are in the thick of things here. Here at Esports World Cup, we got Osama here. Is it rocking the Titan going up against me? Ni with his own lever. You know, there's actually a few players here that have their own lever. That's pretty sick. Yeah, Nobi had his own lever. Ni also has uh, his own lever. It's rocking the knee lever. Neo right now with the capsule top. Beautiful to see. But yeah, that's super sick, man. Exciting. So this is going to be a big one. Uh, you know, a lot of people have been putting it under the microscope, especially in recent years. Pakistan versus Korea, obviously the two countries with the most representation. There's 11 players from Korea. There are eight players from Pakistan. So in every group, you're going to have at least one of the two countries represented, if not both. Yeah, this this rivalry, this storyline is amazing, man. Like I've never seen anything like this for Tekken in ages. 2019, Arslan really made a statement, man. Pakistan has been showing up a team. Usama winning the LCQ, that is not easy. He had to go through a ton of great players there. Like, of course, running into Al in the grand finals as well. Another uh, uh, upper bracket qualifier as well from earlier in Group A. Fantastic. And he's so young. He has so many years ahead of him, man. So many. This is going to be okay. Let's, let's talk about the characters here and going into this. It's very likely that Ni is not recommending usage of Feng in this particular matchup, but he will probably use Brian, and that's the character he's been using most of the time while competing in tournaments. We know because of the replays that have been popping up online, he uses a bit of Dragonov, he uses a bit of Feng Wei, but I think it's going to be the Brian Fury that we're going to be seeing from him. It's obviously the, the character that he's most used to. Yeah, I mean, that's why he named himself Ni, right? The taunt, the unblockable, that's where it all came from. Hoodoop is his Korean name. It also means Ni in Korean. So it's it's pretty sick, man. And I think everybody, every time he picks Brian, it's like, yes, he's back. It's Brian. <laughs> you know, it's just, Brian, I think, is also one of the most fun characters to watch oh, yeah. all the time. And, yeah, it doesn't matter which Tekken game, right? Uh, let's talk a little bit about Usama here. So he obviously won uh, the LCQ, did very, very well. Uh, he can use a number of characters. I would not be surprised if he could use most of the roster. You know, obviously, uh, focused and he has access to so many of the different characters in terms of competition in Pakistan. Absolutely. Uh, Jun Kazama is one of the characters that come up. Yeah, you know, that's the thing, right? And, and you know, people forget that she's a character in this game because she's never really represented anymore. They kind of... Uh, swept her under the rug, it felt like, after yeah. like some of the early patches, like, oh, they got rid of her sideways spike thing, they, you know, she takes too much life now, blah, blah, blah. Her heat smash not as good as you used to, doesn't heal right. as much. Yeah, There's but, a lot of changes that have been made, but she can still compete at the highest level, obviously. It's almost just showing just us, yeah. Like, looking at it at the show. LCQ, right? So, is that the character that he's going to use going up against Ni, or is he going to opt for another option? Because, again, there are so many great characters. I mean, of course, the secondary or maybe like a co-main that we saw during the LCQ was the Dragon Ball. Yeah. Know, this is current Tekken 8 right now. Dragon Ball is a very strong character. Uh, yeah, and his Dragon Ball, phenomenal. I think he also has a very similar style with the Dragon Ball, close to a Teeth style, like very aggressive. Even if I get hit, don't worry about it. As long as I'm thinking like, well, try to stay one step ahead of you, I'll be okay. Yeah, know what moves are good and what works out for me. So we are waiting for these players, of course, to lock in. And that's the thing is you got to lock in if you want to make it out of this group. This is a very, very Absolutely. important one here. We have legendary Tekken players and we have a lot of newcomers that are really showing themselves at the global stage that I want people to pay very close attention to. Because again, these, this obviously is going to be what the future of Tekken is all about, the youth. So we'd love to see everybody do well, but it's impossible because somebody has to lose and somebody has to get eliminated. And only two people are making it out of Group D, and it is Jun Kazama Ooh. versus Brian Fury. Here we go. He's back. He's back. But of course, Usama, young, young in out here, trying to really make a name for himself. He's already making a great name for himself, taking the LCQ to qualify here. But here we go. Oh, we were talking about a Group D, the, the group of destruction. It is the stage of destruction as we go into this action. Usama with the Jun Kazama. Let's see. Is he going to test me? Is that what it's going to be wow. early on? Gets the link off the forward four, just like that. Engages on him. Hit confirms again. Juke to three two. Look like, look at that. Fifteen seconds and already about ninety percent. Oh yeah, he really did his damage. Made that heat worthwhile. Here comes Knee. Gets the follow up here, just like that. Even on life, he still has his resources. Let's see how he utilizes it. He's, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go for the taunt into the string. Yeah, that forward two on two string is so good too. Oh my what the God! Can -cans! The read. The can cans can. 
counter hit ability of that move, knowing and having the heart to use it, it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's a good trait to have. I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's such a good tool. Counter hit, low launcher. Can't even low parry it anymore, but nice stuff there. Gets the big counter hit. Look at this wall damage. Oh, yeah. Chance here. Ryan with the delay there. Here we go. Pushes. He actually went for the Sabaki too, but need delayed it enough. Look at that. Look, so much chip there. Rest for the, was that the wrist truck slam or just a normal throw? Normal yeah, throw, it looks like. Generic two throw, yeah. But finds its way one. Oh, oh and he got the unblockable the throw. First. Wow. Just oh, like that. Straight, straight. straight. Not afraid. Going right at the god. Well, keeping it safe with the extension. Yep. Use that added insurance here. Ooh, about the same life on both sides. Yeah, the throws, they're working. Down one plus two, the Jesus Geyser. Oh, and this is gonna do additional damage here. Goes for the Hebrus, I like it. Now oh, it's all on it E. What is Knee gonna do here? Oh my gosh, he's not gonna do anything. He did not have a chance to play at all. That was crazy. Three rounds straight, very convincing here from Usama against Knee. Dominant performance there by Usama. He, like, really couldn't get anything started. Like, round two almost looked like a repeat of round one. That was crazy. Uh, what adjustments are going to be made here? I mean, I, I have a feeling he'll stick to Brian, but I wouldn't be surprised if he changed. That was crazy. Yeah, it's like he didn't even get to play, and that's kind of like the name of the game, right? If you're not letting your opponent play, you're doing the right thing. Oh, Asteroids, we're in space. Sticking to the Brian here. Oh, had a big block with no launch punish there. Possibly just a movement block. Dude, he's so aggressive with Jun. Yep. Not giving me any room to breathe. He's by the wall too. Oh, not want to be there. God. Again with a the throw. throw. To keep him at the wall. Uh oh. The smart stuff. Okay, he fighting back out of the corner. Chance here. Oh, that's going to hurt. Let's see what he does here. Look at the gray life. He still has wow. heat. It's all adding up into the full crouch. Sweet means in big trouble. Four rounds straight for Osama. Bro, he's using his lever against him. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> They're going to call this the Osama lever, Neo, now. Oh, yeah. Oh, big counter hit. This is huge. This is a big opportunity for Neo. Oh, the knee combos for me. He has the wall here as well. He has the heat extension. Oh, yeah. Look at the damage. Uh, into the smash, great choice for me. It's also a low crushing heat smash, so great option there. Oh, yeah. Beat up the get up three. Able to beat a few things here. Knee finally getting around here in this particular set. Let's see if he's able to continue here. Oh, the second hit. Oh, the leg slicers? It looks so different now from how it used to because, you know, the uh, diversified her animations a bit. Here we go, the follow up. Wow, oh just God. doing so much work with the Genjutsu 3-2. Big chance here. As of right by the wall, D does oh, not bite. Oh, he went for an unblockable. What was that? And he should be able to push. No, oh, he no. It. Oh, that's unfortunate. Now he's back into the wall. He's asking Big to be careful. Block, but no. That was it. Good break on the throw this time. Single hit of the hop kick. Oh, the jab to challenge it from Musama, wow. but D. Getting that 1-4. Here we go, two rounds to one. Yo, this is where it becomes dangerous. Who's gonna be able to use the floor first? Maybe turn a couple throws into a launcher as well. June has the two throw, the wrist truck throw. Brian has the one plus two. Nice confirm on the down forward one, Gatling. Oh, again, oh, the up forward two? I like that, that was crazy. First in a whip punishing time, but he's heat activated now. So scary. Good pressure here from Usama. Good Pushing right towards the wall. the wall. He has to be careful if he gets hit here. It what could a be lights jab. out. Great challenge. He's out of heat though, and use the snake eyes. Oh, accidental jump. What? what that? He said it was a setup. What? what do you mean, accidental jump? That was a setup, bro. That was crazy. I can't I believe <laughs> the range on that wall standing one able to land and hit. But man, knee taking that first game. That was too close for comfort, bro. That was crazy. You know, you turn an accidental jump into a big wall standing launch like that. I mean, Usama definitely was like, oh, that was a mistake. I got to chase that down. And then he's like, you thought it was a mistake. Yeah, you reach, I teach. That was a, a great 
round end situation, a very uncommon round end situation, but Nee was able to pull it off here. Uh, Osama is gonna have to go back to the drawing board. Do you think there's gonna be a change or do you think he's gonna stick to June? That's a question. I think June has been a great choice, but back to the evil arena, back to the game one stage. And Nee was kind of getting bullied here, but Nee turned it around in game number two. Oh yeah, I have a feeling Nee, having a better read on the situation now, can play probably to his fullest here. Let's see what he does. But what if Osama starts changing things up? That's the question here. Attention on one plus two to side, uh, side switch on the throw break. Wow, but the Genjutsu heat smash. Crows are out. Oh! Gotta find an engager, but finds a low parry! This is and huge. has burst! Yeah, he's gonna heal up a little bit. Oh, oh no! Too close, misjudged the wall! Smash plus 15! What's he gonna do? How's he gonna... Oh my god, one more he can do it! So tense. Oh my, oh my god, god he the oh. defense! The patience from both of these players, but Nii pulling off that first round win. He's now in the lead. Wow, Osama finding the mark with the 4-2, 1-2's two, two heat engagers. Really using it to... Wow, what a big trade! Oh, and that's going to be big damage from the combo, too. He already has heat activated here. Let's see what he does. Look at that. Yeah. So that, much gray as well. That doesn't take any of her life. What a step on the smash into Jet Upper. Look at this modified combo! Oh, that was sick, and he gets the wall. Oh, my God! Now what? What are you going to do, Nii? Spice him down. A little bit more chip. Ooh, had to dunk on the mock kick, but only a one-two. Oh, look at the, he's just waiting for his opportunity. Finds the Snake Eyes forward, two on two, and knees now on set point. How, what a way to turn things around here, but again, you cannot count out Kusama. He has been in control for most of the set here. Knee starting to pull away very slowly, but he's making his, his move here. Wow, the down forward one, she's harassing him, but finds a counter at down forward four. Big opportunity. Is he going to pop heat here? Yes, he does. Go sweet. Let's Delayed it too much. Delayed it too much. Oh, but he has a big chance here. This should Find be able to wall. end up the round here if he does everything properly. Big damage. One more poke. Blocks the low. Wow. And doesn't punish it just because uh, the threat of the high, the follow up. Yeah, the follow up there. Got to be careful. Two rounds to one here. Can Usama tie things up here and bring it to a final final? It's the delay second hit. Yeah, didn't duck. Swung into it. Yo, you know the kid wants to press buttons. Ryan working on a perfect here. He just letting her uh, chip herself with a lot of these uh, heat at uh, the geyser attacks. Wow, but finds a down one plus two. That's huge in the walls right there. Uh huh. Gonna activate. Gonna have another opportunity for way more damage here. Big damage. Ooh, good oh, good. Just threatens it. Here comes Knee. Knee's gonna attack. Runs it down for one. Smash is gone. But in the lead with the chip. Oh, he's gonna hit it! He's gonna hit it! Oh, oh and that's gonna God. be it! With the most clutch rage art that we've seen, able to take the dub.